Hi. Most of you well versed in chemistry probably know that metal salts in solution don't just exist as the free ions. Rather, the cation's charge is stabilized by a ligand sphere in almost all cases. In a copper sulfate solution, for example, the copper ion is surrounded by six additional water molecules, resembling an octahedron. This is the first ligand sphere of the copper ion. The second ligand sphere contains only weakly coordinating ions, like the sulfate ion in our case. In this video, I will make potassium bisoxalato cuprate 2. Here the ligands around the copper ion will be two oxalato ligands coordinated as a tetrahedron. To start off the synthesis, I add 4.1 grams or 16.4 millimoles of copper sulfate pentahydrate to a beaker. You can also use the equivalent molar amount of copper nitrate or chloride for this reaction. The copper sulfate is then dissolved in 8 milliliters of water by heating the solution to 90 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, I add 12.3 grams of potassium oxalate monohydrate to a large beaker and dissolve it in 35 milliliters of water. This represents a two molar excess of oxalate ions. After that, I placed both solutions on the hot plate and heated them until they reached approximately 90 degrees Celsius. To start the complexation reaction, I add the copper sulfate solution slowly to the oxalate solution. Initially, copper oxalate precipitates out as a light blue solid, but this quickly dissolves in excess of oxalate ions to form the bisoxalato cuprate anion. Potassium bisoxalato cuprate is pretty soluble in hot water, but crystallizes on cooling, forming long needles. Initially, crystallization is slow, but suddenly a large amount of tiny crystals crashes out as a big block. After cooling to 5 degrees Celsius, I filtered off the solid, which made this funny looking crystal tower, which I found quite beautiful. But anyways, I break up the big lumps of crystals and wash them with water, then ethanol and acetone to speed up the drying process. The compound is dried thoroughly on the pump and transferred to a watch glass to further air dry it. The end product is 5.38 grams of dipotassium bisoxalato cuprate dihydrate. This is a yield of 92.6% based on copper sulfate. I also made some shots with my bad USB microscope. You can see most of the crystals are very tiny blue needles, though some crystals are pretty big, which are those that crystallize slowly while the solution was still very hot. That was the synthesis of potassium bisoxalato cuprate dihydrate. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching.